predatory behavior toward people does occur after being habituated to their presence. <laughs> Wolves that attack animation. their head, they account for 150 fatalities every single year. The most no incidents are related to tragically the child's body was later recovered in the lagoon he'd been playing in. He was dragged into the water by an alligator Jesus. and had already drowned. So today we are going to check out nine deadly animals lurking in American backyards. I'm very interested in this because you guys seem to have the coolest animals. Wow, she's missing the point entirely, entirely. At least ones that you tend to find and make into little pets, like raccoons. We don't have raccoons, and I think I would like a baby raccoon. Chewy? 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 Check out! Huh? Would you like a raccoon, brother? No. I'll take that as a no. He likes being an only child. Also, though, you do also have things that are deadly in American gardens that I am not familiar with. So let's check it out today. This channel is called They Will Kill You and you can see the link to it in my video description box below. Great name for a channel. Cows are found in farms all across America, but they usually aren't the first animal people think of when picturing threatening predators. However, no. this domesticated animal is deceptively deadly. It's reported that around 22 human beings are killed every year by cattle in the US alone, and 75% of these fatalities are considered deliberate attacks. Group strikes are not only possible, but also well coordinated and aggressive. What did you do to the cow? That's what I wanna know. One time in our house in British Bay, we had a stampede of cows escape from a farm and they were in our garden and they knocked down all the walls. They were surprisingly aggressive. But that was in Ireland, so not unique to America. I am surprised at the amount of fatalities. Most lethal encounters with cows are the result of blunt force trauma to the head or the chest, usually after something startles the animal. In 2005, a Missouri farmer discovered a recently deceased newborn calf and was about to remove it from a pasture when one of her cows knocked her down. The woman was stomped and butted while on the ground. She was declared dead on scene before first well. responders could transport her to the ER. That same year, another farmer was guiding his cattle onto a truck when a stubborn cow began to struggle and rammed him against the barn's door. The man collapsed and witnesses told the authorities he'd stopped breathing immediately after the blow. They are like bulls though, right? Like that's the same family, so butting makes sense. Number eight, deer. Deer might seem harmless Deer? and timid, but the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, has concluded they're the deadliest animal in America. They account for 150 fatalities every single year. Good evening, adults. We interrupt this broadcast. Okay, guys, you know cooking isn't exactly my strong suit, but HelloFresh might just save me from cooking disasters. They're giving me 10 free meals and free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active, score. They send everything pre-proportioned so even I can handle it. All you have to do is follow their simple foolproof recipes. Plus they've got 30 plus recipes a week, so whether you're a master chef or chef challenged like me, you can handle it. Look at me, I'm actually cooking. America's number one meal kit is not playing around. HelloFresh lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week. I prioritize quick and easy, but you can go for vegetarian, family friendly and more, and everything can be tailored to suit your schedule by adjusting your delivery date. You can even skip a week when you're not able to cook at home. As the seasons change, so do their seasonal menus. And boom, I made this. You too can go from what is this to cooking like a pro. Go to the link in my description, use my QR code and get 10 free meals plus free breakfast for life. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of this video. On with it. The most no incidents are related to the wild animals wandering into traffic. People are still statistically more likely to be gored by a deer than attacked by a shark. Other deaths wow. to these innocent looking creatures involve hunters, experienced and amateur alike. A 66 wow. year old Arkansas man shot a deer while hunting alone in the woods. It's unclear if he approached his prey after shooting, believing it to be dead, or if the deer took him by surprise. What's certain is that the man's nephew found him later that same day, lethally injured. He didn't. Fair game. You went after the deer, the deer came after you. That's a fair game, you know? That's the risk you take when hunting. With several deep antler punctures. Though the elderly man was rushed to the hospital, he was declared dead before reaching the ER. 
the buck's body wasn't found in the vicinity, so it's unclear if it perished after wandering away or not. Number seven, alligators. Oh, yeah, well, Alligators is. are one of US residents' most lethal neighbors. Its name might be an anglicized form of the Spanish term, El Legato. This was the way Spanish explorers referred to this dangerous reptile in the region that's now known as Florida. On average, an adult no, alligator can weigh up to 790 pounds and measure more than 13 feet, making it a deadly predator. It's not unusual to hear accounts about Florida homeowners finding alligators lurking in their backyards and swimming pools. During the 2020 COVID pandemic, Cynthia Covert, a 58-year-old manicurist, was pulled into a pond and drowned near a client's home. Neighbors called 911, but by the time first responders arrived, it was too late. Covert had died underwater. The alligator was subsequently shot by a deputy. These reptiles oh. have unleashed their predatory powers in what's often described as the happiest place on earth. Okay, so I did check out alligators when I went to Florida and it was very cool. Oh, there, there, there it is. He doesn't like popcorn. Does he like Irish girls? <laughs> I don't know enough about alligators, I guess. I know when a dog bites a human and draws blood like in an aggressive way, intentionally, that we put them down because then they have a taste for blood. Is it the same with alligators? Question mark? I don't know. A two-year-old was staying at a Disney resort oh. with his family when his parents reported him missing. 60 deputies and wildlife officials joined the search. Tragically, the child's body was later recovered in the lagoon He'd been playing it. He was dragged into the water by an alligator Jesus. and had already drowned by the time he was found by first responders. I mean, we don't have all the details on that situation, but a two-year-old playing by a lagoon went missing. I don't have a child, but aren't you not supposed to take your eyes off a child? I rarely take my eyes off my dog. Need to know more info, I suppose, about the situation. Number six, rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes belong to the subfamily Crotalinae or pit viper and are classified as highly venomous. These serpents mm. are native to the Americas and can be found in areas ranging from Alberta, Canada to central Argentina. They lurk in backyards all across the continent and can survive in different types of habitats from temperatures as low as 4 degrees Fahrenheit to those as high as 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The rattlesnake is the most common cause of snake bite incidents in North America. On average, 8,000 people are attacked in the US each year, with around five of those victims perishing from complications associated with severe envenomation. When wow. antivenom is applied within two hours after the bite, probability of survival is 99%, but this number drops dramatically when the wound is left untreated. Back in 2019, Priscilla Meredith, a Georgia resident, was attacked by a rattlesnake in her friend's garden and immediately rushed to the ER. Unfortunately, her allergies prevented doctors from giving her the anti-venom and she died after oh. spending several weeks in a medically induced coma. Would it not be better to, to give her the treatment and then treat her for the other thing? That's usually what doctors do, right? Number five, mountain lion. Oh. The mountain lion, also known as the cougar or puma, is a large feline native to North, Central and South America. It's the second heaviest cat on the continent surpassed only by the jaguar. It's a solitary predator, and though it doesn't usually attack humans, dire circumstances can yield deadly results. Starvation, perceived threats, and getting used to the presence of people in their territory are factors that make an attack more likely. This is totally not related to anything, but um, when Chewie gets overweight, he has done in the past. He's perfect now. That's what he looks like with the little head and the big body. Is that mountain lion overweight? Somebody who's more educated about mountain lions tell me. Do they typically have a small head and a big body? Cougars are particularly deadly due to their preferred killing strike, which is a swift and powerful bite to the throat. The highest number of fatal encounters has occurred in British Columbia, at least up until the making of this video. Usually cougars will behave erratically before killing a human being. Some of the signs may be that they're being especially active during the daytime and not avoiding the presence of people, even going as far as stalking both children and adults. In 2018, Oregon reported its first deadly cougar attack. Diana Boba, a 55-year-old woman, was killed while hiking in a national forest. 
Her corpse was discovered with over 12 puncture wounds and a broken neck. Number 4. Coyote Coyote? The Canis latrans, commonly known as the coyote, is an incredibly versatile predator capable of adapting to different environments and living near urban areas. There are 19 different subspecies, weighing between 18 and 44 pounds, and they're smaller than the gray wolf, its closest relative. It's widely found all across North America, especially, but not exclusively, in forests and grasslands. The chances of attacks on humans increase when people feed them in the wild, habituating this predator to their presence. Another common situation that leads to confrontation is when a pet is attacked by a coyote, which happens far more frequently and the owner attempts to save their dog. From 1986 I to would. 2006, 160 attacks and two deaths have been reported in the US what and linked to this wild animal. In 1981, three-year-old Kelly Keane was playing outside her parents' Los Angeles home when she was dragged away by a coyote. Her father Jesus. managed to rescue her, but it was already too late. She had endured deadly bites and perished soon after. Number three, wolves. Wolves are large canines native to both North America and Eurasia, comprising over 30 feral subspecies. These predators usually weigh around 88 pounds and hunt in groups, being highly social animals. Wolves aren't known to frequently approach human beings, yet if provoked or intimidated, they won't hesitate to attack. Predatory behavior toward people does occur after being habituated to their presence. <laughs> Wolves that attack animation. their head and face of their prey after tackling them to the ground. The victim is then dragged away and consumed. Most of these attacks involve children under the age of 18, and adults really get killed. Even when the wolf is reacting simply to defend itself instead of hunting for food, its attack can be lethal. It's when I went to the Game of Thrones set, I met the dire wolves, and they were so cute. They were so cute. Do you like your buddy rope? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh my god, they're so cute. Obviously, these types of wolves are not so cute. Gosh, you guys have a lot of stuff to worry about in America. In Ireland, we have like nothing really. Nothing terribly dangerous. Humans are probably the most dangerous. Bite is 15 times more dangerous than a rabid dog's. These feral animals can be found in wooded areas all across America, making any resident living near forests and grasslands their implicit neighbors. Candice Burner was an avid jogger living in Alaska back in 2010. Her corpse was discovered on a local road by snowmobilers and investigators found wolf tracks on the snow surrounding Berner's lifeless body. It ended up being the first instance in Alaska's history of using DNA evidence to confirm a deadly wolf attack. Number 2. Arizona Bark Scorpion Considered to be the US most venomous scorpion, the Arizona Bark Scorpion's sting causes intense pain, vomiting, numbness and even convulsions. Most attacks oh occur in Arizona, Texas, and Nevada, usually during the summer. Though some of them happen in the wilderness, most attack Yucky. victims tend to be stung at their own homes. Most fatal victims are children, elderly people, or adults with immunosuppressive illnesses. In the 1980s, about 800 people lost their lives in Mexico due to extreme reactions to the scorpion sting. That's After a 2018, lot. only four fatal attacks have been reported in the US in 11 years. Worldwide, this number spikes to 3,250 annually. Heart failure due to untreated attacks is usually the main cause of death and it can happen only a few hours after the sting. Number 1. Bears D Bears are found oh, in bears. North and South America as well as in Europe and Asia. Six species are omnivorous with the other two types consisting of polar and panda bears. Oh, God love the panda bears. They're not the sharpest tools in the shed, are they? Like, literally without human beings, they would be extinct. But I did know America has a lot of bears. That's not something we have to really worry about so much. Polar is hypercarnivorous, while the panda is nearly entirely vegetarian. Bears are mostly solitary, except when raising a cub, have a heightened sense of smell, and many of them are adept climbers, swimmers, and runners. Grizzly bear attacks are 21 times more lethal and risky than black bear encounters. He needs to brush his teeth. That's a lot of black. Daniel Schilling was reported missing by his wife, and Alaskan state troopers launched an immediate search and rescue. Unfortunately, by the time they discovered his body, the deadly damage had already been done. Schilling had been hiking up a mountain behind his property 
when he was mauled to death by a black bear. Stephanie Blaze, a mother of two, was camping with her children on McKee Lake, Canada, when she was attacked by a territorial bear. Her husband tried to scare it away with pepper spray. When this didn't work, he shot it twice with his gun. Unfortunately, by the time the predator hit the ground, Blaze was already dead. Well, you sure do have a lot of things to worry about there in America that we don't have to worry about. I love how you guys have special things though, like the little vests that go on your dogs that like protect them from stuff. Like that's very clever. They should put those on children too. Let me know below in comments if there's a video you want me to react to. Generally, I like to react to fact-based videos rather than people's opinion-based videos because I'm like, that's all them. Thank you so much guys. That's it for today. See you on the other side.